that concept, thinking like your opponent in order to beat them has been something that's been huge for me for a long time. And then seeing that they actually had a job that was related to that, like you can make your job thinking about how your enemy would try to break your system so you could fix your system. It's like, that's, that's cool. I'm a nomad, I'm gonna definitely be a nomad for a while. I'm always changing, always learning about new things. Uh, I'd say the most consistent thing is I've been a student. As far as work goes though, when I joined Springboard, I was uh, a math teacher. I was working as a math teacher, in addition to a bunch of other small projects, entrepreneurial things that again, were more passion projects, but weren't going to pay the bills. And I thought, you know, it would be a good track to be able to do something like cybersecurity which is a growing field, super interesting field. And I want to be able to balance both of those things, pursuing passion projects and also being able to support myself. I'm a wrestling coach and a track coach. Um, wrestling has been awesome. Um, besides springboard, this year getting through the wrestling season has been one of the highlights. Down the line, I, I'm hoping that I can learn more um, about the ideas of hacking and ethical hacking. The, the, one of the biggest things that brought me into cybersecurity was uh, a book called Red Teaming, uh, how, to, how to Defeat Your Enemies by Thinking Like Them. And that concept, thinking like your opponent in order to beat them, has been something that's been huge for me for a long time. And then seeing that they actually had a job that was related to that, like you can make your job thinking about how your enemy would try to break your system so you could fix your system. It's like, that's, that's cool. So definitely a side of things that I'd like to be able to be a part of. I'd say the most valuable part was definitely my mentor. So my mentor's name was Richard Ria, was super supportive, shared a lot of, of their own network with me, which was so great. And then also they sat down with me to do things like hack the box, which allowed me to put the curriculum that I had learned into practice. It made what sometimes seemed ab abstract more concrete. So as you go through the curriculum, you watch videos, you do some practice lessons, but it's, it's a struggle where like, okay, I'm learning these specific commands, but how do I turn this into a job? And then talking to my mentor about, oh yeah, the other day I was working on um, hacking into a system and I was doing the enumeration using Netcat. And he's like, oh sweet, that's what I do to work. And I'm like, oh, so this is real. It's not just a video to check off. It's an actual thing that you do. What I've done and what I've learned so far, definitely positioning myself to be a cybersecurity educator, uh, regardless of the actual work I do, but being an educator for youth and for other coworkers. I've actually got a job offer at Autodesk where I'll be doing mergers and acquisitions. And a lot of that is going to be making sure that uh, the companies that are being brought into the fold will understand uh, our, our policies and then making sure that we understand their policies to make sure that you know, we keep everybody protected and everybody's data protected. So definitely gonna keep in line with, you know, digesting information and then being able to make it understandable to somebody else. So I'm gonna call that education. So the springboard mentors that work more on that career track were definitely helpful for that. Um, when I was going through it, you know, they say, look at your network. Who do you know in your network that might have something interesting for you? It turns out that a good friend of mine who I've known for, I think I'm going on knowing them 10 years, worked at Autodesk and I was looking through the positions, saw one that was interesting and, you know, really felt that through Springboard, I, f I felt more confident asking a friend for something that's more professional, where in the past I, you know, had mentioned it to them, but never really had that confidence to say directly, hey, you have an opening in, in, in the company you work for, would you give me a recommendation? So that confidence building was huge. When I was about to hit the submit button, it said, just so you know, you'll lose contact with your mentor uh, through at least Springboard as soon as you hit submit. And I was like, you know what? This seems like something that, they, that Richard did so much with me for that I didn't want 
to miss my last call with him, which was going to be the next day. Um, so I said, I'll just hold off on hitting submit. And then, you know, when we got on our call, I said, okay, I have some questions from the last assignment that I worked on. And also I wanted to hit the submit button with you. And he was appreciative of that. And, um, and it was great. It was really rewarding. We did a screen share. So he got to watch what I was doing. I hit the submit button, answered the survey questions. And then, you know, we got to, Drop the little party emoji that that uh, Zoom offered. It was a relief, you know. There was a lot going on. Um, it's been a busy year for everybody, uh, so it was definitely great to feel like, okay, this one's off the list, and also now I've got my certificate. Now I've passed the uh, CompTIA Security Plus test. Really feeling like these major keystones were were being checked off. So I'd say it was relief. It was also pride, right? Like anytime you finish something, it's like, cool.